Hi everybody, this is Diane. I'm here to show you some listings that I'm putting in my shop. Uh, I'm going to start with some holiday ones. So it is September 27th, I think, today. And I'm not sure when this will go up. I'm not going to put it, put the video up until everything is listed. Um, but it's almost October, so let's start with the Halloween. First of all, they will come in this damask craft colored bag, so that would be good for a Halloween journal. But what you're going to get are 23, 23 vintage trick-or-treat little um, treat sacks. So let me just show you the designs. I just got these today at a flea market and um, the video for the flea market, if you want to see what else I got, will be up um, on Sunday. Yeah, that'll be posted on Sunday. So I'll just go through some of the designs. We got a black cat, this really fun jack-o'-lantern with the like the harlequin design behind him. An orange spider, you got um, a few of those. Purple spider, this page full of pumpkins. There's that jack-o'-lantern one again, and the black cat. I had um, oh, the, the kit, the bundle that I got at the flea market had a lot of these, and these, and these, and the spider in two different colors. And very few of these. So there's one of this one in this kit, and this one. I think everybody got one of these. And the bats. So 23 trick-or-treat sacks that you can use in your Halloween junk journals. And it's really fun. And I only have four sets of these. The next item is for Christmas. And I have eight sets of this and it is doilies and napkins and such like. So there's a holly doily and I didn't get my measuring tape. I think that's about eight inches. Yep, eight inch doily and an eight inch red one. Isn't that pretty? It's embossed in the center. So pretty. And a six inch doily in red. This is a Santa Claus napkin that I just got at the flea market today also. And there's four images on each napkin. And you get one in this kit. Then you will get some candy cane napkins and these are little cocktail size and there's only one design on one panel but there's one two three four five of those and then we have this one with the beautiful chickadee in the with the flower and the berries and the pine cone you get two of those and in the corner here is uh, another flower so you get three of those corners and then one with the chickadee. And then we have some holly. You get two like this. And it's on every panel. And these are vintage. And two like this. These are Hallmark napkins. And then a cute little, this must be like a coaster. And this is American Greetings. It does have a, a date there. And it's only got the one picture. And then we get some coasters. Happy Holidays with some holly on it. Some nice paper coasters. There's no coating on the back. It's just a paper coaster, cardstock coaster, and it's four inches. And then these are waxed on the back or coated, and it's more like a napkin, embossed napkin on the front. 
And there's three with the red snowflakes and one with the Christmas boughs. And these are three inches, three and a quarter inches. So that's in the Christmas doily and napkin bundle. And then I just have a D stash of large doilies and I just have one. So I have this large six, um, 10 inch doily. Uh, I don't know how many are in these. I'm going to cut down the cardboard so that it'll fit in the envelope that I selected. It's a padded envelope, but I have to trim off a little bit, but I'll keep the cardboard in there just to protect the doilies. There's four, five, six of these. I'm not gonna count them all because you know, it's hard to get them all separated. Because this is just a D stash and I took out what I wanted and I'm going to share the rest. Um, this one is an eight inch doily. And there's, there's some in there. This one is a thick stack. There's a lot there. And that's an eight inch one. There's another eight inch. This one is really pretty. This looks like the Christmas ones. It looks like the same design embossed on there. And then this large one. Uh, the first one was 10 inches. This one is, this one also is 10 inches, but I love the fact that it is so intricate all the way. It doesn't have a solid center. And then some of the square ones, the big square ones. At least five of them. And it is 10 inches square. So like I said, I only have one set of these D-stash doilies. Um, the rest of, oh, no, I got another. I have more, I have more. I am D-stashing my recipe club cards. I had two different sets. This is called My Great Recipes, and uh, it is MCM, this is the, uh, copyright date, MCM LXXX IV, I know IV is four, so I'm not sure, is it, I'm not sure, what, I'm not gonna guess, but I, what I did was, rather than count every card, I, I made four sets of these, and I have a lot of them. So I just kind of, it took me a while because I wanted to make sure every set got desserts and breads and salads and main dishes and all that, so I didn't concentrate everything into one set. Um, but what I did was I just stacked them on the floor and then made sure they all looked like the same height <laughs> and then evened them up if I had to and I counted one set and I counted 160 and that wasn't even counting these these are the divider cards and I threw some of them in each set so 160 recipe cards they all have a photograph on the front and then the recipe on the back and these my great recipe cards measure four and a quarter by four and three quarters. So these are great to use in cookbook journals or any kind of journal. Okay, and they're all different, of course, all the sets, and I have four sets. I could have made them smaller sets, but I really, I just, it's a D stash, I just wanna sell four sets and be done it'll work that way and then I have the smaller sets of Betty Crocker ones and I also have four of these and these uh, also have the full color photo on the front and the recipe on the back and slightly different in size thought I had the right end 
four by five. That one's easier. And these, uh, I threw in a couple of the divider cards, that, which also have pictures on them. So, and uh, I did, I actually, I did, there were fewer of these, so I did kind of count them out. Like slap, slap them in, into each pile, and then I counted them, and there were 75. So this is a set of 75 cards plus the dividers. There may be a few cards in each set that don't have pictures, but they have menus or something like that on them. So they're really fun cards to use. So that's what I have for this video, and I'm going to also do some golden books and uh, some things like that in a separate video. Um, so I'm not sure if that will be if they'll both be posted on the same day. It depends on how long it takes me to get everything listed. So come on back for that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.